Hello viewers. Welcome to my new PPT presentation on how to use tire defect gauge during joint measurements. This is the drawing of the tire defect gauge. With this tire defect gauge, we measure sharp flinch root wear thin flange deep flange hollow tire flat tire and worn tire root wear root wear is measured in the fashion by placing the gaze just at the root so after placing if we find gap in this way on either side of a then the wheel is within acceptable limits however if the if we place the gaze in this way this surface and this surface must be parallel to each other and if we find a gap over here at this root then the wheel lies at the rejection limit this shows how to check the thickness of the flange by holding the gaze in this fashion in case of gap between point A and the root of flange the wheel lies in acceptable limit but in this case if point A touches the root then the wheel is rejectable deep flange hold the gaze in this fashion and if there is a gap between point A and this tip of flange, the wheel is in acceptable limit. However, if the flange tip touches the gaze at point A, then the wheel lies at rejection limit. Hollow in course of service the wheel develops some sort of a wear in this fashion a curvature is formed on the tread of the wheel normally in this the wheel has almost a straight line of the inclination but in case of hollow tire, it goes like this, it forms a dip. So, placing the gaze in this way, and if this doesn't touch the tread, the wheel is in serviceable limit. But in case this point A touches the tread, then the wheel is hollow and shall be rejected. Flat tire is normally an item which is very commonly known to all the PV engineers as while running it gives a battering sound as well and the measurement is done by placing the gaze in this fashion over the wheel tread and if there is gap in between two ends at A and A the wheel is okay but in case there is no gap and uh, the surfaces lie over each other in the fashion as shown then it's a flat tire and the limit is also known that it's 50 mm for coaching stock and 70 mm for a good stock
worn tire or tread so in service the wheel is liable to wear and tear and the tire thickness also gets reduced so this way we measure it by placing the case in this fashion by touching this surface and if this mark on the gauge goes above the point a then the wheel is serviceable but in case the mark s goes down below this a point then the tread is worn out tire is worn out and it's at rejectable limit well viewers thanks a lot for watching i would request to please forward this to those who are new to the system and uh, are at learning stage i have given my contact number please do contact in case of any usefulness of mine in your day to day working and i shall be very very thankful if my presentations get comments your views so that i can improve myself and present the matter in the way is required by the viewers once again i thank you all and request to please share view like and subscribe my channel thank you